it is okay for an employer to favor a particular carrier, uh, so long as you know you're willing to look at them. You know, as, as as long as you're willing to look at cost within the equation, most employers favor the incumbent carrier, whoever it is, because they're resistant to making changes, and that's perfectly fine. You know, I very much sympathize with the idea that you don't want to disrupt your employee base, but at the end of the day, from the employer perspective. You've got to realize it's group health insurance. If you can make 95 people better off uh, by making the coverage less expensive, or make the company let, you know better off by lowering aggregate costs substantially, you can then put that money in compensation, which I think that most of your uh, employees would prefer, or you can put it in lower premium contributions, which most of your employees would prefer. So in a vacuum, I think most employers favor the incumbent. My advice would be to always equate that against cost because for the vast majority, if you have carrier A that costs you 10% more than carrier B, you're better off going with carrier B and then lowering the employee cost share by 10%. I think if you put that out to a poll amongst your employees, the overwhelming majority would be in favor um, of doing that. Too often that doesn't happen though because people are worried about the noisy minority. So overarchingly, my advice to employers would be, remember, it's group health insurance. You can't make everybody happy. The job is to actually do the best you can for the group as a whole. From the broker perspective, it's a completely different story. Your broker is your benefits advisor. If they favor carrier A over carrier B, then they lose their impartiality and their objectivity. And regardless of what the employer's preference with a carrier is, it is very important the broker as the intermediary is perceived by all the carriers, including the incumbent carrier, to be completely agnostic. Because if they're not, they will not have the appropriate leverage in negotiations and they will not be able to come back to you um, with the best rates with whichever carrier you choose. You also may end up in the unfortunate position of the broker acting um, as a gatekeeper of information and then telling you, you know, they're all about the same price when in fact, if the broker had gone to the other carriers and said, you have a legitimate chance of winning this business, then the price differences would have been much more substantial. So to conclude, I would say in a vacuum, if employers favor a carrier, most often the incumbent carrier, that's fine. So long as you look at it also from a cost angle and you make sure that you're looking at it from the lens of how do I do the best for the group as a whole versus noisy individuals. For the broker, you never ever want a broker who favors carrier A over carrier B. That is not their job. Their job is to be the impartial advisor, you the employer of the decider.